video in the journey began with Eva YouTube series well today is Friday it's around 10 a.m. in the morning and I want to step out to go and collect my Huduma number they sent me a message this week that my Huduma number will be delivered as a Machaco's uh, ID center so that's where I'm headed right now I'm going to collect my Huduma number well if you are a Kenyan you understand what I mean by Huduma number well, you remember sometimes back, I think it's last year, the government required everyone above the age of six years to register for a Huduma number, which is basically like an identification card, which will capture all your biometric data. So you'll be using that to access government services. That's where I'm headed right now. Hopefully, I'm not going to find so many people queuing to collect their Huduma numbers. So, let's go and see how it goes. So guys, this is where I'm coming from. I'm from picking my ID card. Finally, I got my Huduma card, guys. The only difference which I have noticed between the Huduma card and the, the original national identity card is uh, the Huduma card as the national flag. Well, it's the same size as the original national identity card for the Kenyans. Well, it's just an ID, so it is the same size. I'm not allowed to show you my private details. So yes, it is the same size as your national identity card. And the only difference which I notice is that um, the Huduma card as as the Kenya national flag on the extreme right side of the card at the bottom. I don't know whether you guys can see that. Then uh, at the, that's the front side. Then you have your name, your date of birth, gender, place of birth, place of issue, date of issue. Then there is this photo which I have an issue with. Guys, I have a feeling that this identity card, guys, let me just call them that. I have a ten tendency of putting the worst photos in our national identity card. I don't I don't like this photo, but all that matters is that I have my Huduma card. Well then at the back. At the back side, we ha you have we have your county, sub county, division, location, sub location. Then uh, there's this uh there's this barcode right here, back for which I believe bears your details. Then there's another slight difference I have noticed. Uh, at the back of the national identity card, the original one, we have the, the principal registrar signature which is not there in the Huduma card. Some of the information you, you need to know about how to get your Huduma card is that when your card is ready, they will alert you via an SMS using the mobile phone which you provided when you are registering for the Huduma number. Well, they'll send you the first message to alert you that your your Huduma card will be delivered to a certain destination while well, mine was delivered to Machako Central Identification Center because I registered mine in Machako's then they will send you a second message after like a day or two or even a week depending on the time frame which will be taken to bring your ID to the final destination so after i received the first message i think it took me like a day or two then they sent me the second message alerting me that my card was ready for collection so i went there presented my i introduced myself presented my id i was told to wait for like 10 minutes and after like 10 minutes i lady stepped out of the office called my name and voila I got my card if you need additional information about huduma card 
how long it's going to take to get yours uh, whether you can revise your destination where your card will be delivered well all that information is available online what you need to do is to log into the website of is it ministry of interior and coordination you find all the information there alternative alternatively you can just type huduma card number information or just huduma number information will pop up and i hope you find that information useful uh, useful to you and uh, you get the information that you're looking for well i'm happy that i already have my card well it was a smooth process i was not able to vlog the process because well you understand vlogging and its challenges so my apologies on that but i'm still trying to familiarize myself with vlogging apps i thought it's not an easy task i remember mentioning it in a previous video a video i posted like last month that vlogging is not easy especially if you do not have your own car it is not easy moving mo moving around with a camera or your phone just looking like a mad person vlogging talking to the camera it's not easy it takes time to get used to it and it needs a lot of courage and also you have to remember that vlogging is not allowed everywhere most of the places you have to seek permission for you to uh, to capture any video so always have that in your mind if you want to go out and create content so yeah i have my card already i don't know how many of you have theirs already whether you have used yours leave a comment down below hopefully i'm going to use mine soon because it is meant the essence of having this card is to make access of government services easier so hopefully i'm gonna use mine soon and please when you get that sms just act immediately you know we should outgrow this tendency we have as kenyans of waiting for the last minute to go and do something which we had a long duration of time to do just do what you're supposed to do go to where you're supposed to go go pick your card and move on with your normal daily life I hope this video was helpful guys thank you so much for watching for those who haven't subscribed yet kindly do remember to subscribe and join this amazing journey began with eva youtube family for fun engaging and informative content thank you everyone for watching let's catch up in my next one